Cause I never get a feels bit never get a feels bit never get a feels bit Socks are feel tight on me, bro. And this is a ten and a half, and uh, they feel tight on me on my on my feet. I want to tie the shoe. Yeah, bro. These right here, you gotta. In the beginning, when you first get your foot in there, you feel tight. With socks on. But since it's priming it, probably it's gonna stretch. So, that'll be your decision. More and more I look at it. It look nice on. It look nice. For looking wise. Ah, uh, that, that ain't sell out from before. Don't know. I haven't really looked on it ever since. But they didn't sell out before. Go check if you want to. They 180. And like I told, said on my videos, this is basically the same sneaker of Pusha T's. Pusha T had the same sneaker to work with, and he critiqued it to his liking. I would figure I wasn't there, so I really don't know, but obviously that's what must have happened. You know, or whoever does it for him critiqued it. And they put the shimmy and they put the fish scale, since that's what he was about. So that's basically these. And putting these on, whew, you should tight to put on. That's another thing too. I'm a 10 medium. I'm a 10 medium. And uh you should kinda of tight. You gotta hold it on for a second. And it's, I'm putting the shits on. Whew. Yeah. I don't know. I'm starting something. Everybody always say Adidas sneakers, like they they sizing. Like it, you gotta try them on. It's like everything anyway. You gotta try it on. But some sizes might be too tight. Some might be just right. And you gotta see which one is for you. And on these, if you were just wanting to come out the box and you didn't even want to feel no pain or nothing, then. For me, it would have to be 11. But me, I wear 10 and a half. Some sneakers that could fit real, real big. <laughs> you probably can get a 10 for me, but 99% of the sneakers is 10 and a half for me. Sometimes, it's seeming that some of these you gotta get 11. And even though, like I said, the prime net, after a while, it was probably stretched into your feet. But for me, I would have to get 11. I would say 11. If I was at the store, I'd say, okay, yeah, let me try 11. Let me see how 11 feels. You know I mean? But it looked good, bro. I mean, these are like, these these um frail a lot. That, whatever way how you say this shit frail, or whatever how they, you know what I mean, because it's a sweater looking shit. So. You get them little hairs and all that shit coming out of this shit. It was mostly on this one, not on the black one really. Don't know why that was. 
I don't know, maybe because of the black, they put some extra adjective why it doesn't really frail as much as on, on a pure white one. Well, that's what I saw. But as you see, the white and red, these cream joints, they call them bitches white. And my light just went out, so that's what it is. But, uh, yeah. I can dig it. So just know, if your feet is like a 10, 10 and a half, uh, if your feet is wide or medium, you might want to go a half a size up. These shits are feeling it all, all up here. I'm feeling it all right here, like right here, feeling it real, like really and with the sock. That's why I wanted to put it on with the sock, like to see how it feels with the sock. You know what I mean? Instead of just wearing it without. And I don't know, maybe you have to put on thinner socks. I'm sure it'd probably be less without um, shoe. I mean, without socks, but to me, most of the time you're gonna be wearing socks until the summertime or when it's hot. So that's what it is. Alright. Till next time. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell. This is a sneaker channel. And the objective is to rise as you showcase stuff. This costs money, time, and everything else. Researching. Money. Like I said before, the money's a big thing. Driving, which is another big thing. Going to post office. All this stuff, taking back, keeping, all kind of different stuff. All right, so until next time, peace.